group of pill pushers? Hey, well, God, <laughs> people love me, don't they? Get lucky! Ladies, all we see you home with is a lot of love for me and... Maggie Wilson! Hello everybody, Robert Sutherland here from Game Show Garbage. I know I'm not wearing my Game Show Garbage shirt, but I'm in a different location. Normally I'm in front of a computer, but I'm actually in my bedroom right now with my uh, tape. Well, if I remove the Nexus stuff in front of my Game Show collection. And there's more of it over here, which you can't see, but... Nexus was cool for the time that they were away. Anyways, now to more important stuff. Last week, Nickelodeon came out with a revival of Figure It Out. For those who don't know what Figure Out is, it's a, it's in the same vein as What's My Line, actually more in the vein of I've Got a Secret than anything else. It's an updated version of i Got a Secret where the panel ad, asks yes or no questions like, uh, is it an invention, is this a physical activity that you do, is it a collection, you know, questions like that in order to try to figure out what, their, what the contested secret is. For every round that they fail, the contestant gets a prize of increased value, where after round three, if they haven't figured it out yet, then the contestant wins the grand prize, which is a nice trip. For those who watch the old version, when you watch the new version, nothing's changed, really, except for the set. Well, and the host, Jeff Suffman. But Jeff Suffman, from his proof on Brain Surge and 101 Ways to Leave a Game Show, is a great host for this show. He knows how to interact with his contestants. He knows how to interact with the panel. He knows what buttons to press. It's just... A fantastic show to watch. I also like that he actually gets into the mess himself, you know, with the Word of Honor, which is a new thing that they've added to the show, where a contestant can pre-select the Word of Honor, where if that word is said, the contestant gets slimed himself. And sometimes Jeff will come in and get slimed himself. For an example of this, watch the premiere episode. I think it's on Chad Mosher's YouTube channel. Just YouTube Chad Mosher. Figure it out or actually just Mosher, figure it out, and I'm pretty sure the episode is there. It's also up on iTunes, by the way. Actually, all the episodes are up on iTunes, so really do check it out. Price is pretty much the same. The only thing that's a little disconcerting is there's no Billy the Answer Head, and I mean a in little in the really little of, a, little of terms, but the stuff they have is pretty nice. However, the angles do become, you know, the angling of the monitors and everything does become a little weird and sometimes it kind of tells you you have to look like this in order to see the words straight up but that's how it works I really have not much to say about Figure It Out it's just as good as it was in the 90's when Summer Sanders was hosting and the regular panelists of Danny Tamborelli, Lori Beth Denberg Kevin Coppolo, Amanda Bynes you know pretty much the entire all that cast was on that show and also other Nick celebrities like Michael Malibu is on there Phil Moore who We'll get blasted next week on the website. And all, I mean, uh, the Journey of Alan Strange cast, uh, the uh, Mystery Files of Shelby Wu. Uh, I'm not really sure. I, I keep on forgetting the show in the 90s where this girl can transform into liquid. And uh, I'm, if you know, you know, comment on it because. It was a great show, and I think I remember Booger play, Booger from Revenge of the Nerds playing a uh, a math teacher in an episode, but it was a really fun show, as with most of the uh, early to mid-90s uh, real-life uh, Nick shows from that era. And this is no different. Figure it out. Awesome show. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. Sam, figure it out. Just uh, they changed the set. That's all. Great show. And I will see you later on Game Show Garbage. Bye, everyone. Whoa, whoa.